Let's go in there. Vivian Robinson. David Vivian Robinson, Auctoritate mea et totius collegi praeficio te, alumnis redliensibus, inter praefectos ducem. Jackson. Anthony Jackson, Auctoritate mea et totius collegi, praeficio te, alumnis redliensibus. You will have heard with real shock, as I did, of the murder of a member of our council, our local MP, Airy Neve. That was not just a great blow to freedom in the country, it was a great blow to every standard of human decency that this nation stands for. And I hope you will have drawn the sort of conclusions that I think you should have drawn. He stood for integrity, he stood for courage, and he stood for a sense of public duty. And if all of us here can think about those three things, it will be a very important gain and step forward. Have a very good term, all of you, and get some work done. Thank you. <laughs> If there is one subject which stirs the emotions of the people, it's the public schools. They are loved, hated, honoured and reviled, and each new generation rewrites its myths and truths in a stream of articles, books and plays. Public schools have bent to the social winds, but one central feature has remained rock solid since the public school days of Tom Brown. Only 5% of boys go to these schools, but this 5% dominates every major institution in the country. The church, the law, the army, the civil service, government itself. For that reason alone, public schools are worth studying. Radley College is one of 470 public schools. It's five miles from Oxford, houses 600 boys, and charges nearly £3,000 a year for board and tuition. So it's safe to assume that few Radleyans are of lowly social origins. And just as Radley's parents are upper middle, so Radley itself is of that upper middle rank in the hierarchy of public schools. Replenishing the professions from these halls with a well-rounded product while producing the occasional oddball or high flyer. Peter Cook was at Radley. And a new boy in the 1940s was Mark Carlyle, the present Minister of Education, in a government pledged to spend public money on sending gifted but penurious pupils to schools like this. Summer term, the term of O-levels and A-levels. The term when wet bobs row, dry bobs play cricket, and senior boys leave this place forever. It's also the term when 20, 13-year-olds join Radley College from their preparatory schools in the shires.
Bradley has its own distinguishing peculiarities. Boys wear gowns, masters are called dons, and houses are called socials. There are eight, A to H. J.M.H. Lovegrove is one of this term's crop of stigs, or new boys. He's about to take up residence in his new home, Sea Social. For the next five years, he will spend more time in this house than in his own home. Hello. So, yes. So we met. Oh, uh, what? I met him last term. Yes. In 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 connection with music. Yes. 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 And this is Nick Dean. Social life in the social begins with a new boys' tea party, an occasion for parents to meet those who will be in loco parentis, dons, social tutors, sub tutors. And matron. No, 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 I've not seen it before. No, no, it's no. very agricultural. Okay. And um, oh, yeah. it's very kind. What are your subjects? Geography is mine. I mean, uh, I'm a scientist. Oh, yes. Which yes. kind? Physics. 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 I think it The tea party and the events of the next few hours are designed to dull the ache of separation and the loneliness a small boy feels when all around is alien and new. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, David isn't very much of a scientist. I don't know. Well, that's all right. Um, does he row? Yes. Oh, excellent, excellent. That's <laughs> there are only two sorts of people, those who row and those who play cricket. And, and you are, uh, what, do you do well, some row, fetching yes, or something yes, as well? Yes, yes, I'll take it under 15, 8. But how do they begin? I know that they have fast swimming. They begin very wobbly. <laughs> One man bound to make a lasting impression impression on the new boys, not only today but right through their school days, is the headmaster, the warden Dennis Silk, former Cambridge University and Somerset opening batsman and captain. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Nice James, James, you met? Yes. Um, tonight no, we have a little session after the service in the chapel where I say a little bit to you, to uh, so-called wise words of advice, and then the senior prefect has a few words. The real reason why James is coming to the social is because we wanted a fourth cellist. We want to do a quartet for four cellos. Four cellos. There's only going to be one yeah, term that yeah. we have four cellists in the social, two leaving at the end of the term. I'll get the show. Oh, he's always got a special name for these roofing. Don't mix your drinks. Right? <laughs> and some dark turquoise. But that was their lemonade. Yeah. That was lemonade. Yeah. I'll go and get and the right then thing. Then when they get yeah. 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 One thing I must ask you is how do you pronounce Quanania? Quanania. Quanania. Q-U-A-N-E-A. Which is your best guess? Raga. I bet you're a prop four. Well, I like, to, I, I like to play number eight most, but I'm best at, I, I think I'm best front at row. The front row. Yes. What do you do with your spare time on school? Well, I, I've got a lot of things. I, I enjoy sailing. Do you sail in the holidays? Yes, I do quite a lot of sailing. Where do you sail? On the broad? In Cornwall, mostly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get a house down there. Ah, I told him the London Free should actually have an occasional verse with his new organ broken down. He hasn't got one. He's going to have a new organ. And uh, oh, the moment there. there, but there's a little bit of extra. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Good luck. Goodbye. Bye. Don't. All right. Good. Yeah. That's great. Remember to write letters, won't you? Yes. I've given you enough stamps. James, you come around this way. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Left on his own, each new boy is allocated a nanny, 
a junior boy in the social whose job it is to teach the new boys the ropes. Yeah, I've only just, I've only just got back. Yeah. 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 I got back. Yes. Yeah. 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 An hour ago, okay. we've been oh. around. You've been down to Miss Lawrence? Yes. Well, just say goodbye to my parents. Yeah. I've just started unpacking, but I got down halfway down the drawers yeah, and found somebody else's yeah. stuff's in there. Um, you're free to muck about, do what you want. I'll show you around a yeah. bit. Show you around who the HPs are. How to mm. check. Twenty past nine, you've got to be in bed, mm. and the HPs come round to make sure you are. Mm. And after that, so that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. It. And you're officially allowed to talk till ten, but usually it goes on for much longer. Clark. <laughs> um, yeah, he's in one of the. Oh well. Is this all oh, this in this one? Well, this is his, and I'm not sure whether there's someone down below. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's, that's basically all it is. Mm. And I've got um, that, which is <coughs> what you've got to learn for your Stig's test, which is, you're a Stig, by the way, I don't know if you knew. No, I didn't. Well, that's a name for a new boy. <coughs> and those are the social colours for the ties. Mm. This is the one. And then all the names of the tutors, which is the masters mm. of yes. each house. Um, those are the, the pups who are the heads of how it is. Uh, yeah. And they're called pups. The new boys spend their first few terms in social hall, more commonly called the horse boxes. There's no personal fagging now, just general cleaning and charring. It's fags. About every two weeks, you'll have a fagging duty which will be put up on the board. And you'll either have to sweep, this is called little end, and, or the other end, which is big end. You have to sweep one of them or go and wash out one of the bars. You have to clean out gas rings. Upstairs, 
God and Heavenly Father, look in love upon us, now once more gathered into the family of this school. Grant that, refreshed and renewed by the happiness and freedom of our holidays, we may take up our daily tasks with energy and joy and grow in knowledge and wisdom and in love of you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. very glad I am to have you here at Bradley. You may be wondering why I've asked to see you in chapel, and I think I ought to tell you why straight away. It's a place you'll be spending quite a lot of time in, not a great deal of time each day, but just a little bit of each day, and we do that because we regard this side of what we do here as the most important side of all. I'm not saying that we shall coerce you into any particular beliefs, but this school stands for, well, let me just say it, the Christian religion. And that's why I felt that the right place to see you was here, first time. Having said that, I'm not going to preach you a sermon, far from it. And what is important to me is simply this. I'm not going to talk about religious precepts, except for one thing, that the real religious life begins when you walk out of that door. It's how you treat each other. And if you can just remember one thing about that, remember this, the second commandment, love thy neighbor. And if you can be kind to people, that will be a tremendously important part of your Radley life. So remember that. And that's why I'm seeing you here in chapel. Some of you are blessed with great brains, and some of you maybe not. That doesn't matter tuppence. What matters is how hard you're prepared to try. And every fortnight, you will have a report card. It's just a simple cardboard rectangle, and all the subjects are reported on by all the masters, and I shall see that once a month. Your tutor will see it once a fortnight. And there's a little square by each subject for effort. And if you get a plus there, that is what it means, a good thing. So it's how hard you try that matters. And if you do happen to be blessed with a good brain, and some of you are very fortunate in that respect, much more fortunate than me, then use it to the full. And I want you people to build up one habit on that side, the habit of work. It's not a habit which is terribly common these days, but I want you to acquire that habit. Never hand in a prep that isn't not just finished, but well finished. You're going to find this one of the big differences in a public school. Your fortunes are in your hands. 
So cultivate the habit of work. Let me get back to something not very far removed from what I was saying at the very beginning. One thing I attach enormous importance to is the courtesies we show each other. It matters to me very much that you people should be able to look someone in the eye and smile and say good morning or good afternoon or good night. Remember that. And it matters to me all the little details. It matters to me that you should not speak to people with your hands in your pockets. It matters to me that you're smart, well turned out, that you've got polished shoes, that you've got your top button done up, all these little details. And I wonder how many of you have clean fingernails. These tiny little things make something that lasts, because you come to school for one thing, really, to acquire the right habits for life. And that's what I hope you will acquire here. And I wish you the very best of luck. And as I said at the beginning, I'm delighted to have you at Radley. Good luck, anyway. Hello. You'll move up quickly, please. You'll hurry up. Usually, you've got to be in bed at 10, 20, um, 9, 20, OK? Do you understand? It's relaxed, it's even. Do you understand that? 9.20? Yeah. Yep. You tell them, okay, please. Okay, thanks. 9.18. And if you really want it, 9 seconds as well. Right, well. If you have that one, I'll keep that one. There's one closer on it. That's fair, mate. How much of it did you manage to get through? I finished it. Housemaster Peter Leroy makes a point of being in the dormitory at Lights Out on the new boy's first night away from home. Those are the last two in the whole. More subtle than that. Yes. Good. Yes. James, have you got some comfort? How does it compare with coming to house, baby? I think it's worse. Worse? Sorry, but yes. Soft in Sussex, I think, is what it is. What about Tom? How does that compare with Winchester House? I'm just getting into it. You're just testing it. It's better, is it? Yeah, it hasn't got a great valley in the middle. Yeah, what was it like? Nice mattress. Come to house is a very soft place. It's all very easy and gentle, isn't it? There. Sussex and sort of sunny, yes, rather than the hardy Thames Valley. Well, gentlemen, try and sleep tonight. And the old lags, let them get to sleep. Here. Nine twenty-nine. Right, one more minute. Good. Right. Oh, What's your prep school like? Bad or good? Oh, the prep school is boring. Well, is I mean, it really it's boring? boring after a while. And this place is. Do you think it's quite impressive? Yeah, yeah. super. <laughs> well, better than Winchester House. Is it? Yeah. It should be. Better so. birds in here. Okay. Well. Good night, everybody. Good See night. you tomorrow. Um, Mr. Goldsmith's lessons, a real bombsite. Oh, oh, they are. <laughs> yeah, you got so you should... That man is mad. And he supports, he supports Ipswich. And he Ipswich. gets really angry if Ipswich leaves, yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> 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 Pray Ipswich win the League Cup. Well, right, everybody here. The first thing you do is to stand up when the dog comes in, I may as well tell you. Your first day here, you may as well learn a few manners. Sit down. <coughs> Now, what I think we'll do is to take names and see who's here. <clears throat> is there a boy called Archdale here? Sir. Oh, yes. Tell me your initials, will you? Come along, you vile boy. This is your very first period at Radley College, one of England's greatest public schools, and you're late. Sit down. <clears throat> now then, Archdale, what are your initials? N-E-A. Yes. N-E what? A. Good heavens, you're only N-E here. Yeah? And what's your social? Um, G. Right out. Beaver. Yes, sir. Initials? PM. Well, your dad is MP, huh? No, sir, they got it wrong. But how do you know they got it wrong? How do I know you're not wrong? Are you sure you're PM? Yes, sir. All right. What's your Christian name, then? Uh, I'm called Mark. Oh, well, there you are, then. That's yes, MP, but... then, you stupid boy. <laughs> what social are you in? G. Oh, down to C, yeah? Green. Sir. TMC. Yes. Social? C, sir. Yeah. Hamilton. Sir. Social? D. Initials? BM. Nagnow. PJ. Yes. Social? 
Ace. Who's better at maths, you or your brother? My brother, sir. Oh, no, it can't. Your brother's one of the worst mathematicians I've ever taught here. Right? Love Grove. J.M.H. and C. Yes. Murdoch. A.D. Yes, are you better at maths than your brother? No. Are you more wicked than your brother? Yes. Pasteur. MC. And what is your social? E. Why is E the most famous social? I don't know. Does anybody know why E is the most famous social? Well, find out. Let me know tomorrow, then. <laughs>